Florida airport shooting caught on camera. Security camera footage has emerged showing the horrific moment when an Iraq war veteran opened fire in a deadly shooting at the Fort Lauderdale airport on Friday. Five people were killed and at least 13 others were wounded when 26-year-old gunman Esteban Santiago pulled a 9mm handgun out of his waistband and began firing indiscriminately. The footage was obtained by TMZ. The video shows Santiago walking casually through the baggage claim area of Terminal 2 at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport before producing a pistol and pulling the trigger. Terrified passengers can then be seen fleeing in fear and ducking for cover as Santiago continues the attack. Santiago traveled from Anchorage to Minneapolis on Thursday night. He then flew to Fort Lauderdale, landing on Friday afternoon. After arrival, Santiago claimed his bag and went to the restroom, where he took out his gun and loaded it. The former U.S. Army reservist then started shooting at people in the baggage claim area. Shocked bystanders ran for their lives, and it was only when the gunman ran out of bullets that he finally stopped shooting. A witness said Santiago threw his gun to the ground and lay down after the gunfire stopped. According to a criminal complaint filed by federal prosecutors, Santiago has confessed to the attack. Santiago was on the FBI's radar and had spoken to agents just weeks ago when he said his mind was being controlled by U.S. intelligence. Authorities are still trying to establish a motive for the attack. Santiago now faces three federal charges that all carry the possibility of the death penalty. Here's four more stories about airport attacks. Crazy dude rages through New Orleans airport with a machete. Newly released surveillance footage shows the moment a psycho pulled out a machete and began attacking people at New Orleans International Airport last March. The disturbing incident began around 7.30 p.m. on March 20th, with Richard White calmly walking towards a TSA line, holding a paper bag. He violently sprays the crowd with wasp spray before pulling out a machete from his waistband and attempting to slash people. The 63-year-old targeted another TSA agent, spraying him in the face before chasing him with the blade. The maniac was inches away from claiming his first victim, but was stopped by three shots from local cop Heather Silk. White died the next day after refusing treatment due to his beliefs as a Jehovah's Witness. Officials also found a Molotov cocktail, grill lighter, and plastic letter opener in the paper bag White dropped during the attack, and have since deemed his shooting as justified. Armed suicide bombers attack Istanbul airport. Turkish Prime Minister Bin Ali Yildirim said ISIS was responsible for an attack on Tuesday in which Turkey's main airport became the latest target in a string of recent bombings in the country. At least 36 people were killed and 147 others were injured in a terrorist attack at Istanbul's Atatürk airport. Reports said two gunmen armed with AK-47 rifles exchanged fire with security guards at the entrance to the international terminal. One of the attackers detonated a suicide bomb outside the terminal building. A third suicide bomber blew himself up in a multi-story car park opposite the terminal. Witnesses said one of the attackers opened fire inside the terminal. He was shot by a police officer before detonating a suicide bomb. Ataturk Airport is the third busiest airport in Europe and the 11th busiest in the world. The attack on the airport is the seventh terrorist atrocity in Turkey since October last year. ISIS and Kurdish militants have carried out a series of bombings in Istanbul and Ankara that have killed dozens and hit Turkey's tourism industry. ISIS claims responsibility for bombing attacks on Brussels. The blasts in Belgium have left at least 30 dead and dozens more injured, with new reports indicating ISIS has claimed responsibility for the attacks. The first incident took place at Brussels Airport at 8 a.m., while the second happened shortly after at 9.19 in the Malbec subway station. At the airport, reports indicate the suspects entered the departure lounge and began yelling in Arabic before firing Kalashnikov rifles. At least one of the suspects is believed to have detonated a suicide vest. Authorities say as many as three terrorists were involved. One of the blasts rocked the third row of the departure lounge check-in, while the other detonated close by. A third undetonated bomb was later discovered by authorities. Close to 80 minutes later, 
A three-carriage subway train was pulling out of Malbik station when one of the carriages exploded. Early reports estimate at least 20 are presumed dead. Authorities continue to investigate whether the blast on the metro was the result of a suicide bomber or a planted explosive. Police are now on the hunt for this man, a suspect in the airport bombings. The other two men seen in the CCTV footage released by Belgian police are believed to have been his accomplices who died in the attacks. Gunmen storm Pakistan airport, at least 23 killed. A group of around 10 militants attacked Pakistan's major airport late on Sunday, leading to an extended firefight with security forces, which left at least 23 people dead. The militants, said to be wearing security uniforms with explosives strapped underneath, shot their way into Jinnah International Airport in Karachi at around 11 p.m. on Sunday. Another group of attackers then blasted their way through the cargo gates at Jinnah International Airport's old terminal and made for a plane on the runway. Security forces cornered four terrorists near a plane. In an exchange of fire, explosives strapped to one of the gunmen went off after he was shot. At least six officers and airport staff and six attackers were killed in the clashes. Reports say that at least two planes caught on fire following the explosion. Shortly after 2 a.m. on Monday, the chief spokesman for the army stated that all surviving terrorists had been contained in one area.